Hello everybody, for November's People You Should Know and Places You Should Go, we've got, uh, starting with the people you should know, this is Miss LaDonna Parham of Nourish Food Bank. Hello, LaDonna. Hello. And uh, we are standing in the, the what do we call this place? The Hub of the Nourish hub. Food Bank. Yeah, and yeah. this is where the magic happens, at least part of it, right? Right. And uh, so what is, what is Nourish Food Bank? How does it work? And what do you guys do, that kind of thing? All right, Nourish Food Bank exists to feed families, fuel hope, and nourish our communities through compassionate services, collaborative programs, and partnerships that create a network of care. So we work with other agencies in the community to help make sure they have their needs met for feeding people in different ways. And then we provide direct food to clients um, anywhere from 600,000 to a million meals a year. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that one more time, a little louder for the people in the back there. How many uh, meals? Between 600,000 to a million meals a year, uh, you know, depending on whether there's COVID or not. Um, but wow. hundreds and hundreds of thousands of meals to folks in crisis all across our county. Um, and we even support some of the surrounding communities, but our emphasis is on Rutherford County. Uh, we have folks who come in to get direct services and they meet with our client intake people to see what their needs are and if there are other things we can help them with, like connecting them to job opportunities or that kind of thing. We go to area hotels that are low income where folks have been displaced from their homes and are having to live there for a few months till they get back on their feet. So we provide some delivery services there as well as to campgrounds. And then we provide some in-home service delivery to primarily older adults and people with disabilities, folks who are medically vulnerable and isolated, lacking transportation. So that is that's us awesome. In a nutshell. That is awesome. That's a great nutshell. Um, if somebody wanted to come and volunteer, how would they go about doing that? The easiest way is to go to our website, www.nourishfoodbanks.org. We have a volunteer sign up link right there. And that way they can see all the shifts and all the hours and all the locations and kind of see what works best for their needs, interests, and time schedule. Because correct me if I'm wrong, you have three locations, is that right? We have three locations. We have one in Murfreesboro, one in Smyrna, and then one that kind of borders Nashville and Laverne to try and help those folks on the northern end of the county. I love it. All right, so someone you should know is definitely LaDonna Parham here at Nurse Food Bank. Um, look her up, she's awesome, and uh, the mission that they accomplish here is absolutely incredible. You, you heard it here, several hundred thousand meals a year uh, flow out of this and the other two centers, that is awesome. Thank you, LaDonna, for all you do. Thank you. On the next part of people you should know and places you should go, we have Brasshorn Coffee Roasters on Lytle Street, just off the new roundabout. If you haven't been here yet, you should, especially if you love coffee. So they open at seven o'clock in the morning. They're closed on Sundays and uh, they're open until five. So my favorite place to grab a cup of coffee is right here at Brasshorn. Get over here and check it out. Let's go take a look around inside. So what a treat, we stepped inside and the man himself, Mr. Jeremy Florida, I caught him doing what he does best, which is roasting some coffee. He's telling me about gas exchanges and all kinds of other stuff that quite frankly, I don't understand, but dude, you make some good coffee. <laughs> Thank you, man. appreciate it. So I tell people all the time that one of my favorite things is that I actually can taste the difference in different black coffees. I, I drink my coffee black. Yeah. How do you do that? What What is your wizardry? Oh man. Uh, mostly the wizardry happens at origin, so at the farm level, the Ethiopian farmers, the Congolese farmers, we have coffee from Guatemala, uh, the way that they farm the coffee and then process the coffee, basically how they remove that seed from the fruit, the process they used to do that has a, a major effect on the taste, and so all we do here is try to honor the work that those farmers have done and uh, present the coffee in a way that kind of features the terroir of the coffee. It features the processing method and, and uh, the farm, the origin, all of that. that. That's all we do is try to be as transparent as possible. That's friggin' awesome. So right now, I know this changes. What is your favorite coffee? Oh, it's one that's not out yet, um, but it's an Ethiopian coffee that we just got um, from a friend at Catalyst Trade. Um, it's uh, it's called the Nansebo West RC. It'll be coming out in the next like week or so, but it's beautiful. It's so light. It's like honeysuckle and chamomile, and it has just the slightest like East Coast IPA booziness to it. Like just 
just a, a nice little hint to it, but it's a really beautiful copy. You'll Outstanding. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. All right, buddy, thank you. Get back to your uh, your magic there. Thank Look you. at that. That's coffee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a nice treat to catch the master at work. And here's what uh, the coffee shop itself looks like. I'm here in the afternoon. It is usually jam-packed in the mornings. So uh, get here early or stay late. And they've got my coffee ready, so you guys have a good rest of the day. See you.